Now we're gonna get into a stretch for the side of your hips. So we're gonna start with our right leg. This is gonna be seated on the ground. What's gonna happen is we're gonna have this leg bent and you can play with different angles of bend. We're not super fussy about that. If you have the ability to get your foot outside of that other knee, and again, you can walk it in a little bit further if you need to, we're gonna place that foot on the outside and then you're gonna gently bring your knee inwards. Now, if you wanna plant this hand down or you wanna bring your yoga block over to kind of post yourself up on it, or you wanna try and see if you can turn your chest over to that side a little bit, there are so many different variables that you can play with here. If you need to lean back a little bit, you can. You may still get a stretch here if you don't have the ability to be you know, more upright in this position but we're searching for a stretch somewhere on the outside of the right hip. So you can tinker with all of those variables and see if you can find yourself a stretch there. So I feel my best stretch when I'm a little bit more upright and then just gently bringing that knee in towards midline. I can still get a stretch back here. I still feel it quite a bit, especially if I kind of turn my pelvis or turn my body that way just a touch. You can play around with it, find what works best for you. If this isn't a position that works well for you, like I said, we're gonna explore some other options in this class as well. So give this one a try, see how it feels, and then try the next one, see how that one feels, and then you'll know which one works better for you after you've experimented with them a little bit. So if this one does feel okay for you, we're gonna bank a little bit of time here, just stretching and just hanging out. So I'll watch my, or I'll check my watch here. We'll see if we can spend it in and around two minutes here. And while we spend our time stretching here, I'm gonna walk you through what we're gonna do for our pails when we get there. Now, if at any point you need to adjust that other leg, feel free to do so. Like I said, you can change that knee position as well. What we're gonna do for our pails is I want you to make sure that you're anchored through that right foot. So have a little bit of weight on the ground. You might even notice that you're just stretching right now. If you kind of sit into that foot or put a little bit of weight through that foot, you may even feel an increased stretch in your hips. It's another variable you can play with, but when you do your pails, I do want you to maintain a little bit of pressure through that foot to help keep, to help keep you anchored. And then what's gonna happen, what you're gonna be doing for your pails contractions, you're gonna be gently trying to push into your arm. Another variable that you can play with is just pushing with your knee versus pushing with your knee and pushing with your foot. So that would be either option one would be just driving the knee out, option two would be trying to push that whole leg out. You can play around with that a little bit. Again, the goal is to feel it in whatever you feel stretching right now. So whatever feels tight for you, that's the stuff we're trying to target. So you can again, tinker with those a little bit to see how can you best target the area that you feel stretching right now or that you feel is restricted for you. So play around with that just a little bit. Just make sure that you keep a little bit of weight through that right foot the entire time. You don't have to be pushing through it hard, but make sure you feel anchored and sturdy there. So we're gonna be approaching our two minute point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ever so slightly and very slowly, because this is a recovery focused class, not a max effort class, we'll slowly start to make our way up to anywhere from like 30 to 60-ish percent is where I like to keep it for these classes. And then we're gonna slowly ramp our way back down. We're not gonna wor worry about rails today. So when you're ready, nice slow inhale. And we're gonna slowly, just like a one out of 10, start to drive out either with the knee, with the knee and the ankle or both. Just one out of 10. Then we're gonna make our way up to like a two out of 10. Climb a little more, three out of 10, I'm feeling it already. Four out of 10. Five out of 10 if you want to keep climbing. And if you want to meet me at a six, you can meet me at a six, but I wouldn't go any higher than that for today's class. And now we're going to hold this. Nothing changes at all, just maintaining that and being mindful of your breathing the entire time. We're not trying to push you into super sympathetic state, meaning we're not trying to go deep into fight or flight on this one. We're trying to stay a little bit more into recovery mode. So I want you to make sure that your breathing is nice and slow. Slow inhale through the nose, slow exhale through the mouth or even through the nose, your choice on the exhale. Try and think longer exhales than inhales. Keep holding for just over 30 seconds. Keep driving out and try to keep that pressure or that tension in your hip constant. Try not to let it change. Almost there, three, two, one, now slowly ramp back down. Don't just jump right back down to zero. If you were at 60, you're gonna find 50, 
40, 30, 20, 10. Let that tissue melt.